All right, hello everyone and welcome to this MO2 newbie tutorial. I hope you guys are doing all right. We're gonna keep it short, so you may want to slow down this video or something, or maybe take notes. First of all, let's start with intru introducing most useful tools of the game. Here is the model site, model data site. This is a character builder here, so you can choose your builds. You can choose the skills, the gift, the pet points, everything here. You can go to the workbench here if you need to learn, to learn how to craft and what stats are going to be. Uh, this builder data is uh, based on 100 level skills. You can learn how to make fucking anything with shield pets. And pretty much everything you need to know about this game. Everything is going to be in the description links. So this is the mining uh, page, I guess. So you can learn what kind of material you can get from extracting the granum for example and then the zabura granum can be fine anywhere zabura is more around meduli in desertic area there's a bit around tindrum calx can be fine around clear water or jungle area then you got the tephra that is around volcanic area so extreme northeast around golkur same with the gabor so you can have all materials and here is the most useful thing you can see how to make black how to make granum and then you got the advanced metals and you got the producing things with the copran based alloy the brown the messing everything every material can be see here so you can test materials through this tool and then you got the model online map so if you're a new player, I would recommend you to spawn to Fabernum because I've been to Meduli lately and it's crowded and it's so crowded that getting materials is try is getting to be is going to be hard, sorry. And then there's the graveyard that is always crowded too. So it's a fucking shithole there for now as a newbie. You might find people to help you and shit for sure. But I would still not recommend it. So here is Fabernum, that's where I spawn with this character. My character is one week old, I'm making armor, bows, I'm making spears, I'm this and that fighting, I'm can, I can now do magic too. I'm not the most efficient yet, but I'm pretty much set up and I can win a few PvP fights, even though I'm having trash gear. I'm not too much of a noob though. You might need to look at the, the, the next uh, fighting tutorial. So. Here is the stats, I'm already leveled up with heavy armor training and shit. Uh, that's a pretty simple build with uh, half Shivra, half Villa, kinda hybrid, melee. Uh, melee with spears, mounted archery, mounted magic, magic, and uh, probably necromancy when I'm gonna get my trinkets to spare points. Uh, my clay level is pretty low though. So, you're gonna spawn in Haven as a noob. This town looks like Haven, so you're not gonna get lost in Fabernum, right? So here is the library around north. Let me show you my compass. This is north north side. This is the main uh, square. So you should have every priest here. Then you got the library here. Spiritism, spiritism pets here. Second bank here. Main bank here. Broker here. And here is the exit from east. So. East Exit is having the graveyard and the Fabernum Tower, which is pretty much the same tower than the Haven one, but with zombies. This uh, tower is going to be useful for leveling up your spear or your whatever melee weapon. Because those zombies are having 300 HP or something, close to this, and the level works with the damage you deal. So you need to deal them damage and there's a ton of them there. You're going to get a bit of clay and you're going to get a bit of level 2 in this way. So this is how you're gonna get your spear level running, I guess. If you want to level up your heavy armor training to be able to wear more heavy armor, you just have to be overweight. You can see your armor weight into the statistics of your character, and it depends on the armor weight per part, obviously. So as soon as you're overweight, you're gonna learn armor training, and once you level it up to fucking level 100, you're gonna be able to wear heavy armor training book. To unlock the heavy armor training and then you're gonna keep going until you can reach probably something like 30 kilo depending on your strength and your constitution right so after this you're gonna be pretty much able to set up your basic combat skills you're gonna need archery too you just need to deal damage with the bow so you can go at the same spot with a bow uh, you need also anatomy if you want to bandage properly so you just need to bandage more and more and more and learn anatomy to get more uh, bandage running 
more useful bandage. Uh, you're gonna need the taming, so don't forget to speak to every single Haven tutor you can find. There's an anatomy one, there's a crafting one, there's a taming one, there's also fucking uh, archery one, there, no, range combat one, sorry, not archery, I believe. There's also the spear one and sword one and shit, so I would recommend speaking to them whole. And then if you're having something you don't want to use, you just level it down by pressing the fucking uh, unlearned skill here. So you're gonna learn how to sprint, you're gonna learn how to have foot speed, you're gonna learn how to breathe properly, you're gonna learn how to jump. You're gonna have a lot to learn and to level up. So, obviously the blocking is gonna go with um, blocking, yup, with your spear and your weapons in general. So you just have, I would say the most efficient way would be to go in the wild and find some wolves, like a pack of wolves and you just middle parry the animals. And like they're gonna give you so much parries, it's also gonna give you stats. But I would not recommend to go for stats yet. Cause if you're going to spawn in Fabernum, you're gonna have this Fabernum town ob obviously. And then I'm gonna draw you something. Ah, you cannot see actually. Heh, <laughs> right. So I'm just gonna show you with my crosshair. You have the Fabernum guarded town here, you got the main city, I mean the main road here. You're gonna pass the graveyard. On the bridge and then you're gonna have the other Elbrus area and the Springbook area so if you go around this way you should find the backdrop there's some trees and shit that indicates the backdrop I'm not gonna show you any image because we're gonna try to keep it short so there's a backdrop you just follow the trees and then you go down there and there's a horse spawn here right and there's Kranesh too so if you die you can respawn to Kranesh you can skip up to those mountains and go back to the horse spawn try to avoid wolves that are somewhere in this area they are not they are not on the map, but trust me, they are here. They're gonna fuck you if you're naked. So, there's a couple strongholds here. They look like small castles. And those castles are having every tables of the game. And there's Razorbacks area, there's Brown Bears, there's fucking Direwolf, there's Wolves. So you can kill anything here with a horse that you tame here by speaking to the taming tutor in Haven. So you can use this horse to make bags into the stronghold to carry materials and then bring them to the butchery table to level up butchery and then you're going to use those materials to try to craft directly on this place it's probably the most useful way at this point to get every single material lore and ad kinda advanced animal material or at least basic ones that are all around this area so you want to know probably iron bone to learn iron bone you're gonna have to go to jungle camp and if you want to learn iron bone it's gonna cost you 50 silver make sure to un unlock uh, endoskeleton things so you're just gonna go there bone collect whatever you can to make silver and it's costing you 50 silver it's pretty easy so if you want to know how to unlock iron bone that's pretty easy iron bone so you need to know about endoskeleton lore, skeleton lore, just by butchering any undead and shit. Uh, you can also unlock carapaces before going there. If you want to get some carapace lore or dense crepite or whatever, you can kill spiders. There's also spiders in these mountains around Fabernum. So Fabernum is here, right? Here is the backdrop somewhere around here. If you go over those, you should find some small spots of mountain spiders to also learn about those. So you're gonna be pretty much set up at this point with animal materials and shit and then your spear level and basic things but you still don't know how to make horse bags, right? So if you go to horse, you can see the horse equipment crafting and the pet equipment crafting. So you're gonna have to learn that before leaving town. I think you can do it in Haven. So you just have to go to the north side, go to the library, go to the... Um, I think it's crafting guy and you just unlock pet equipments. That's it. Pet crafting, you unlock it to keep it to zero if you don't want to make horse armor and then you go for horse equipment and then you go for horse bag crafting. You keep it to zero and you're good. That's it. You can make bags. So you just craft bags into whatever e pet equipment table and you can carry your shit. So that's gonna help you a lot gathering materials and shit. Then you just have to chain craft just like kinda Skyrim like I would say. So this is how you learn uh, boyery. Weapon crafting and armor crafting. So, 
for those you might need to buy books too into the same uh, spot crafting librarian upstairs into the same building um with this that's gonna be pretty simple if you want to make heavy armor only you can rush up to plate and buy the Tindramic book or mercenary book the Tindramic one is 32 gold from the fab tower that's also why fab is having a pretty much big advantage Meduli is having the tower too to get the same book so i guess it's up to you on where you want to spawn right but in whole cases you're gonna need to level it up obviously and you're gonna need to level up plate but since they are all parented you're gonna learn laminated and you're gonna learn soft at the same time laminated can be fine in curite towns like moki veida uh, morincourt bakti and every curite town pretty much that you can see on the same map don't forget links are into the description so you're gonna need to go there you might not need the curate splinted armor it's a medium armor i did not level it up like i said if you learn laminated with the book up to 50 you're gonna be able to read the plate armor book pretty simple so far so you're just gonna gather bones to the graveyard with your horse put the, 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 the dead carcasses there or you can go, like I said, on the field. And around those strongholds, there's a couple. Yeah, here we go. The stronghold should be right in the middle of those. So one is open from Cartel Guild. And you're going to have every tables. You can just kill uh, mongrel horses. And then you butcher it to the fucking table right next to you. And you should have so much padding material that is going to make it super easy to learn every soft armor, laminated armor. And then you can bring them back. To complete gathering basic materials with bone tissue to the graveyard and then you're gonna be able to learn plate armor really really quick same goes with bows at least short bows you just gonna take fucking bone tissue and bring them and just chain craft and you're gonna learn boyery uh, uh decurve self bow is a um, single material but most of the time you're only using composite so self bow is not really useful and then for the longbow crafting, you're going to need botany. If you need to learn botany, it's, it can be useful for cooking. It can be useful for making longbows only. And yeah, I guess gathering wood if you want to build a house later on. So you're just going to chop down woods. That's going to level up. And if you miss some, you can still craft bows at the, at the crafting table. And it's going to also level up the wood you're using and the botany. Botany is going to go way slower than learning a specific wood. If I go, for example, to botany here, botany, I've learned dendrology, which comes with wood gathering. And white wood is already at 100, but my botany is only at 70. That's because every single wood here is gonna increase my botany skill. Same with cooking. If you kick vegetables, cook, sorry, vegetables, it's gonna give you botany lore too. So that's how you learn botany pretty much if you wanna make longbows. That's gonna be pretty simple from now. You're just gonna gather water and you can learn basic cooking. Advanced cooking is trash, do not unlock it. You just need cooking pot and turn speed for the cooking. You just gather a lot of water and then you use every slot available into your cooking tool with cooking pot, for example, with the water. And you're gonna learn cooking pot, you're gonna learn cooking, you're gonna learn... That's it, actually. So those two are pretty easy to level up. And then if you want to learn the turn speed, you're going to need any kind of food, any kind of meat, or you can start gathering vegetables and cook those vegetables to learn also botany in the process. But it's way less effective than crafting bows to learn botany. So it's up to you, I guess. So from now on, I think we're good, but we did not speak about magic, right? For doing decent magic, you need mental offense and you need mental mantle training sorry at 100 like i said this character is only one week old so i'm totally not set up you need also mental focus and concentration concentration make you able to go, don't get interrupted if you get hit during your spell and mental focus is making you spare 50 percent of your mana so it's really required to have it all but both are secondary here so they are not costing points because they are secondary Mantle offense is for dealing more damage is a primary, same goes with mantle training. And once you've got it all, you can find all those books to the library, the magic libra librarian, that is to the floor level of the library, north side of fucking Fabernum again. 
once you've got this, you're gonna learn the magic school. Yep, it's never over with learning. <laughs> so, you have the ecumenical spells, that is pretty much the basic spells that you can find in the game. You already spawn with some spells into your spell book. If you need to learn some new spells, you need to find scrolls on monsters like casters into the bandits. Go to the Necro Dungeon if you want to get some necromancy. Go to Minotaur King Dungeon and uh, also... I don't think it's Minotaur King actually. It should be pretty much Sator. Sator Dungeon down in Jungle for Spiritism. At this point there's only Necromancy, Spiritism and Ecumenical. Ecumenical is pretty easy to level up and learn. You just read the books, that's gonna be way more efficient. And every time you cast a spell, you're gonna also get XP. So. This is very specific actually to level up magic, you need, let's say I'm level 62, right? So I need a spell that is in between the cast and the skill range, yeah. So my skill range... You see for example, my best spell is a T-Lash Thunder Lash. So that, that's going only to level 62, I'm level 62, so if I'm using this spell, I'm not gonna learn shit out of it, because it's, it's out of the bracket now. I need to use a spell that is into the bracket to get XP every time I fucking uh, cast something. So, that's how you're gonna have to learn magic. After that, I guess we are pretty much done, you're gonna need reagents, the reagents are written on the books. Here we go. The goal is to keep it really short, so I'm gonna shut it down pretty soon with the video. We're gonna have a neg another one really quick with how to start fighting. That's gonna be really simple too. So you get Icoro, Coil and shit, that's pretty much the basic for doing magic. And I forgot Calamine, Calamine is pretty much heal. Uh, for example, there's a greater heal and a lesser heal, but the greater is taking so long to cast that it might be way more worth it to keep it on lesser. And also it's burning way more mana to do um, a greater heal, but I don't even have it in my book right now. And then the other schools are totally not learned. I might go for Necromancy later on, but I still need to work on that character. But like I said, in not even a week, I'm pretty much set up with mounted archery and shit. I completely forget to speak about archery. So you just need to hit something and deal damage to learn it. But for mounted archery, you're gonna need controlled riding. Controlled riding is going to fucking... I think it's riding. That's an action skill, you go to writing, writing is secondary, so you're not, you're not gonna use points. And then you got the control writing. At a certain point, uh, first of all, control writing are only available in curate towns. So, same than laminated. You might need to go for one room there, or you can be it out to the broker. So, at a certain point, you're gonna fucking be able to unlock mounted archery. You do not need to buy mounted archery book. You just need to level up enough control riding, and then when you're gonna hit something with your bow, if your level is high enough, you're gonna learn mounted archery. So by hitting while being mounted, or by hitting once you've unlocked it, you're gonna learn mounted archery, you're gonna learn archery, you're gonna learn control riding at once because they are all parented. Same goes with mounted majory. At certain point, you're gonna be able to cast a spell and then unlock every fucking skill that is parented to it. I'm not gonna use mounted combat, but that's the same, except that mounted charge cannot be learned through action here. So you're gonna need those. Uh, they are available in... Uh, I think it's Tindramic Town, so... Uh, pretty much Faber, Noom, Tindrum, Meduli, etc. I think we're done with all the basic spells and shit. There's a lot of information going on here. I think I could speak about uh, extracting. To be an extractor, you need to know about petrology and metallurgy if you want to refine metals, right? So, let me find it. You got the crafting appliance here, you got the core extraction appliance, and then you got the commutator and the crusher. Pretty much everything goes to the crusher, don't use the grinder, it's trash and gonna destroy your materials in most of the cases, except specific cases. But, like I said, you need ore extraction appliance, that is 100 points, you need to level up to 100. You do not need 100 to craft, you can be 70, but you're gonna lose max durability, but you're gonna be full stats for crafting. But if you wanna make things, then you need to level up to 100. So this goes for battery, extracting, refining, and pretty much everything that relies on making things. I mean making materials, sorry. So, 
You're gonna need the mechanical appliance and shit for some attractor if you want to make steel and things like that. But it's all secondary. You just need to level up or extraction appliance. And then that's gonna be machines that you're gonna have to learn to operate. And those machines are gonna give you pretty much... Um, how is it called? Yeah, they're gonna give you knowledge on each machine. So you need to level those machines to, to 100. That's gonna be a pretty long process because there's a lot of machi different machine machines sorry so you're gonna waste a lot of materials at the beginning but that's gonna be worth it at the end of the day i guess blast furnace is very specific furnace that is into gold core it's costing another 100 points but it's giving you more things that you extract but it's a lowless city people came there people live there that's gonna be pretty much impossible to reach the blast furnace unless you're part part of the aliens that holds the town and even though you're part of the aliens maybe you're gonna get attacked and lose your shit so it's still worth it, I guess, but that's going to be a long way to go to the Blast Furnace. So, once you've done with this, because, yeah, it's not over. <laughs> and we're only speaking about extracting, right? You need Petrology to level 100 to be able to refine the first tier of the materials. So, using putting it to the crusher is going to level up Petrology, but you can also just mine. And mining is going to pretty much level up things, too. So... That's the required one. And then you got the metallurgy with all the basic metals, like copper and shit. And then you got the iron based alloy with this uh, alloy, sorry, with the steel, tank steel and shit. Everything is into the mining uh, tutorial, uh, the mining site. So you may want to take a look there with every refine refinable material and every material that you can extract from every kind of rock. Everything is in description once again. So this is. Uh, cuprum based alloy so you're gonna have messing that is pretty good for making armor but pretty heavy tindramic messing and shit there's a lot of different materials brawn is super heavy and good for making heavy armor to level up training heavy armor yeah lovely heavy armor training and it's also good for building things i guess but it's not the most efficient so i think we are done with what you require except that you need something that is under extraction you're gonna need the basic or extraction to level 100 to at least at least extract the tier 1 material to get malachite and shit out of calx for example and coal that's the tier 1 material and then you got the tier 2 where you put the malachite that you got from the crusher by crushing calx you put it to the furnace and then the furnace is gonna give you the lingots, the the yeah, the bars, the yeah, the cooper and bars and shit out of the malachite, for example. So you're gonna need also some materials. You may want to take a, a look at the um, also the Mortal Online 2 emulator that is giving you every ratio you need to respect for um, catalyst material. So I'm gonna link it to the into the description. You're gonna need to take a look there if you wanna be a proper extractor too. And then you got the intermediate ore extraction that is using the furnace. So the furnace is gonna give you the, the gold bar and shit, like I said. Not even gold bar, more like copper and bar. And then you got the advanced ore extraction, I think. I don't even remember what it's for. It's for the next year, obviously. I think it's for Blast Furnace, maybe. I don't even remember about this one, to be honest. But you do not need this one to, met, to make Lingo... Uh, in, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Cooper and Bar, for example. If you want to make a Cooper and Bar, that's going to be pretty... Not required. You just need... So 100 points here, another 100 points here. Then you need another 100 on... Uh, our extraction appliance and then you're gonna need another hundred on petrology and then another hundred on metallurgy so just for making decent extraction you're gonna need 500 points right so i think i'm not gonna be able with this build but it doesn't matter i'm making everything in the game at 70 so i can pretty much play alone and give stuff to to anyone if you bring me shit i'm also a butcher for example so for butchering, that's going to be pretty simple, by the way. And it's going to be crafting appliance, butchery appliance here that needs to be leveled up. Then you got the butcher's, the butcher workbench that is secondary. And you need to be 100 in material lore, animal material. And then there's scales and their carapaces and other things. And the textile, if you want to be a proper like uh, silk extractor and scales and carapaces and shit. But I think we're done now. 
we saw pretty much every useful skill how to get it that's a lot of information to process like i said don't forget to check all the useful tools into the description and i see you in the next fighting tutorial that should be way 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 faster in like two minutes you can learn how to be decent at the game at fighting that's gonna be a lot of work on your side obviously but that's the most efficient advice i could obviously give you about fighting see you in the next video